This is a model of the integumentary system. I'm going to be zooming way in so you can see all of um, the structures a little bit better. But I want to start with the layers of the skin. So you can see these numbers with brackets. So this is number 34. And the brackets, the, the arrows, go from the superficial layer of the skin down to this dark purple layer. The dark purple layer is convoluted, meaning not straight across. So this entire layer, it's peach, white, purple, pink, and then dark purple, and the numbers one through five all represent the epidermis. So when you're looking at the entire integumentary system from here up is the epidermis and is represented by this number with the arrows. And then deep to the epidermis is the dermis, which is represented by this pink or peach layer and the number 35. Now the division between the dermis and the hypodermis is also not straight and super delineated. Um, so it's not this layer here, it's more like down here. So it has some loose connective tissue down here. But deep to the dermis, in other words, down here, and there is no number to represent this layer, is the hypodermis, also known as a subcutaneous layer. The epidermis has five layers that you don't need to know, but that's what these numbers here represent. This deepest layer of the epidermis that is convoluted and dark purple is uh, the area of rapidly dividing cells. In other words, that's where the stem cells are. You've got two, actually three hairs shown on this model. There are a couple of typos on this model, a couple mistakes they made when they made this model. And one is that there's a number here on the hair shaft. The hair shaft is the region of the hair that extends above the surface of the skin. In other words, what you can see from the outside of the body. But over here, now they have an eight there also. But we have a different name for the part of the hair that is buried within the skin so the hair shaft is on the outside. The hair root is this entire structure here, okay? And um, I also wanna point out that the dermis has most of these accessory organs that I'm talking about. And one is a structure that wraps around the hair root. So number 14 and 12, represent a structure made out of skin that is wrapped around the hair root. Those represent a hair follicle. So this is the hair follicle, which is not a part of the hair. The hair root is hair. The skin structure wrapped around the hair root, 12 and 14, is a hair follicle. And here you see that the hair follicle has been completely cut open so you can see 14 and, and there's a 13 down there as well. But all of this pink and purple layer around the hair root is the hair follicle. And over here, the hair follicle is completely intact. They didn't cut it open at all. This structure is red and striped. So it looks like a muscle, right? Because it is. It's a smooth muscle that is attached to the dermis on one end and attached to the hair follicle on the other end. This is an erector pili muscle. And when muscles contract, they shorten. So when this muscle shortens, it pulls on the hair follicle and causes the hair shaft to stand up on end. In other words, we call that goosebumps. Okay, there are white and gray structures throughout this model. One is here, one is here, 
and one is um, over here, and there's one here. These are all sensory, oh, here's another one. These are all sensory nerve receptors or sensory neurons or neurons, or, or there are a lot of different terms that you can use for these here. And then red and blue on every model is always blood vessels. So you see all these blood vessels as well. And then up here in the superficial layer of the dermis, you see blood vessels as well. This gland is associated with a hair follicle. It's pretty clear here and over here. It is not cut open. Here it's completely cut open. Here it's partially cut open. It is a sebaceous gland which secretes sebum into the hair follicle which keeps the skin and the hair moist. It's oily. And these coiled up structures with the really long ducts that lead to the surface of the epidermis, those are sweat glands.